Hi guys, my name is Freddy and a lot of times I get the question, I want to make this and this website, what theme should I use? And in this video, I want to talk about that subject. Every theme has their own settings and their own layout. So over here, I use the extra theme. And what is the extra theme in this website? It's not this area. This area is the page builder. But this area, the header, the display of the menu, that is the function of the extra theme. So if I would go to the same website with a different theme, this one, this is the unfold theme. You see, I can do almost the same thing, but the layout over here is a bit different. Let me tell you that every theme comes with a page builder. It can be Elementor, it can be Divi, and some themes have their own page builders. For instance, Enfold has their own advanced layout editor. And if I would take a look at the page builder Elementor, I refresh the page. And this is how it looks. And here the same website with Enfold, I refresh the page. And there's an animation over here. And if I hover over it, I zoom in a little bit. So that's the difference between themes. They all have their own settings and possibilities. So here at the Enfold theme, if I would click over here, I have made this using the Enfold theme. Well, I have exactly the same with the extra theme in the page builder called Elementor. So if I go to tutorials and I click over here, you see the content is the same, but if I scroll down over here, the video scrolls with us. This is a setting within Astra Pro, and this function is not available within the Enfold theme. So when I talk about themes and page builders, I talk about minor differences. Another example, if I go to the Divi website, I go to blog, this is how my blog page is displayed. So if I click over here, I see the blog post and I can share things also over here and over here. And here at the right, I see recent posts and recent comments. I even have this option. And if I go to a different website and I go to blog and I click over here, I see there is no sidebar and this is how the blog post looks. Here I can share it using Elementor Pro. People can leave a comment. So it's the same content, but it is shown a different way. So when you ask me what theme should I use to make a website, when you want to make a normal website, it doesn't matter if you use the Divi theme or the Astra theme or the Ocean WP theme or the Enfold theme. With all those great themes, you can almost do the same things. So maybe you like this layout, or maybe you prefer this, it depends. And I have to say with the Enfold theme, you can create this, but there's not much you can change unless you start digging into the CSS stuff, which I don't like. And over here using the extra theme, you have more options to configure this as you want it to be. So if someone asks me what theme should I use to make a web shop, it can be any theme. Because if you want to make a web shop, you need software and software on itself has its own layout. And of course, there are certain themes with more options for WooCommerce, but those are all minor differences. So if someone would ask me what theme should I choose to create an event website, well, then I don't want to take a look at the theme, but I would like to take a look at the plugin for that. So for instance, the event calendar. So this whole area over here will be embedded into your website. So it doesn't matter if you use the Enfold theme or the Divi theme, this layout will stay the same. But there are exceptions. If you want to make a real estate website, of course, then it's not enough to say you need to have the extra theme and the Elementor page builder. No, then you need to have a plugin that will configure it for you. But there are also themes that are totally built around making a real estate website. For instance, houses. This is a demo. So over here you can enter a keyword, you can search in a certain city, and you can search based on a certain area. And this is not something you can do within Elementor or the extra theme without having extra plugins. So the advantage of certain themes is that you have a lot of functionalities in one theme. So if I would make a real estate website, I will choose this theme. Why? Because this theme is created for people that want to create a real estate website. So here you can search but over here you see listings. This is something you cannot do with the Envol theme or with Elementor or with Astra theme or with Divi. So in most cases, 
I would suggest you use the Ocean WP theme or the Astra theme and the free page builder called Elementor when you want to create a website using free tools. If you want to create a normal website using paid tools, I would suggest Astra Pro, the Elementor Pro as page builder or the Divi theme. And if you want to create a website for events, I would search for a plugin called events. If you want to create a web shop, I would have a website using Astra and Elementor and WooCommerce. Let's create an example on the spot. If you want to make a website with a podcast, then I would search for WordPress podcast theme or a plugin. So then you just need to search, do a little bit of research, which can be really nice. So I search for the Visio theme or there over here. I click on it. I want to see a live preview and this looks really nice. So you could decide to get this theme. If you click on it, you see an example. So this theme has probably everything you need to make a podcast website. And the great thing is you can also add ads over here so you can make some extra money. I think this looks really decent or if you prefer, you can also search for WordPress podcast plugin and then you can use the Divi theme or the Astra theme or the Elementor page builder or Elementor Pro. Elementor Pro is by the way, a theme and a page builder in one. And then I can click over here and then I can use this one and then you can implement it into your website. Thank you for watching this video. If you have a question, please leave a comment. If you like the video, please like it. And if you haven't done so, please consider to subscribe to this YouTube channel and turn on the notification icon. And in that way you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Have a great day and you will see me the next time. Bye bye.